We are live, guys, on Sam, Mr. Blitz Tech. Revenue GS. J1 Fermi And we're back with more Death Note. Today we've got episode 19 and 20. The blue hair. Quiet, Matsuda. This is not the time to be fooling around. Knock it off. Yes, sir. This is a here investigation. Stop messing around. Sorry, eyes off. Matsuda. What's going on? Please don't, Matsuda. After all, the last thing I want is to be dead weight. Ryuzaki, is there anything I can do to help with the investigation besides the manager thing? Could you get me another cup of coffee? Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> I want to help too. I want to contribute to the case. Would I punish evildoers and criminals if I could kill by just seeing a name and face? Is that what I'd do if I had that sort of power? I mean, it's true that there are lots of people around that the world could frankly do without, but I don't think I'd become a murderer yeah. just to change the world. Surely I wouldn't do that. No, I'm thinking too hard about this. There's no way anyone could murder so many people and not have any memory of it. What's wrong? You've been staring at me for the last two minutes. Wait, let me guess. You must be annoyed because I'm the only one eating cake at the moment, am I right? Uh, no, that's not it. Here. Really, don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. Ryuzaki. Yes, what is it? Detective Heraldo Coyle has just received a private request to investigate and reveal the identity of L. Isn't Heraldo Coyle supposed to be the second greatest detective in the world? After L himself? Who on earth would send such a request? The man who sought out Coyle's services is Masai Kokita the head of the rights and planning department of the Yotsuba Group's headquarters in Tokyo. So it is Yotsuba. We know that Yotsuba must be linked to Kira. If they're trying to find out L's identity, it's probably because they want to kill him and need that information to do it. This isn't good. We're already shorthanded enough as it is, and now we have to worry about Coil too. It's quite all right. The detective known as Araldo Coil is me. It's quite simple, really. Three of the greatest detectives in the world. L, Coyle, and Deneuve, they're all actually me. It's been my experience that people who try to find me usually fall for this. I'll give you this strawberry and mm. give it a secret, okay? What? I'm impressed as always, Ryusaki. It's for the prison walking fam! What's going on? No point in coming here. Should I wait until everyone's gone and search their offices? I can't. I'd probably get caught doing that, and then maybe I should get out of here. <sighs> Not this again. I'm too tired. Look on the bright side, at least it falls on the weekend. You never know how long these confidential meetings will go on for. Can you imagine if we did this on Mondays? That would be the worst time. Confidential meetings? All right! I just have to get close to him, right? Leave it to me. And then you want me to make sure that we're able to breach the security and override the surveillance cameras in the Yotsuba Group's head office. Is that all? Yes. At this point, it's safe to assume that Kira and the Yotsuba Group are connected in some way. We're going to investigate Yotsuba to determine who holds Kira's power and if there's more than one person who possesses this ability. We need a clear understanding quickly. Yotsuba figure out that we are investigating them. Please realize that if they do notice, it means we won't be able to catch Kira. Damn it! I can't hear them clearly. If only I could hear just one thing, something important. These two are only acting as guards. The rest of them must be discussing how they'll get rid of me. Oh, there's no way out of this. I'm gonna be killed for sure. I wonder if the emergency signal got through. 
Oh, never mind that. Even if it did, will Ryozaki come and save me? Oh no, what's gonna happen? This guy's affected more than terrible. Go ahead. You can answer it. Don't say that you're here, though. And hold it away from your ear. Make sure we can listen in on the conversation. Okay. Hello? Yo, Matsumi! Miyazaki! Oh. Yeah, it's me, Asahi. It's been a while, buddy. Asahi, yeah, it's been a long time. Yeah, it doesn't sound like you're out right now. Don't tell me you're home already. Yeah. So, you by yourself? Yeah, I'm by myself. What's up? He's not with me, so I'm on it right now. Matsuda must be on his own. Mm -hmm. So, do you want to, like, go out drinking tonight? Huh? Right now? Oh, sorry. I'll have to pass tonight. Oh, what's the matter? Don't tell me your wallet is in trouble again. In trouble? Yeah, that's right. Big troubles with money. You know me way too well. <laughs> Matsuda's saying he's in big trouble. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. Guess I'll drag you up some other time, all right? See ya, buddy. Oh. Anyway, what do you think about contracting Nisa Nisa? I think she'd be a great spokesperson for your company. If you're gonna promote one of your clients, shouldn't you at least bring them with you? Do you expect us to believe you're this girl's manager? Well, to be honest, at the moment she's filming a movie nearby. Once she's finished, I'll call her and get her over here. Then you can see why she'd make a great spokesperson. I have to keep stalling them somehow. Nisa's cell phone is on voicemail right now. I left her a message and told her to get back to me as soon as she can. What are you planning to do, Ryuzaki? Well... We have to consider that if Matsuda dies, our suspicions about the Yotsuba group will be confirmed. Hmm. Let's just watch the situation for the time being. What should we do? The main question is whether he heard anything. If it's a possibility, no matter how small, we'll have to kill him. I'm wondering if he really did come here just to promote his client. He could be an undercover cop. No, that can't be it. The Japanese police have completely withdrawn support from the Kira case. Look, it doesn't really matter who he is. We have no choice but to kill him. Hmm. Oh, the slap is shot. <laughs> Misa Amane's manager dies in full. Hmm. Yes? You're Masahiko Kida, VP of the Rights and Planning Department at Yotsuba's Tokyo office, correct? Yes, that's right. And who am I speaking to? I go by the name Eraldo Coyle. I'm calling to discuss my terms with you. <laughs> what? A two million dollar advance and eight million upon completion? Is he out of his mind? That's not all. Even if we don't commission him, we have to pay him two million just to keep him sad. So he wants hush money, huh? If he's saying something like that, we should assume Coyle knows quite a bit already. This is getting ridiculous. I've had it. I want out of these meetings right now. I don't know who Kid is, and I don't care. I just don't want to get wrapped up in this and end up in jail. Huh. That's what I mean. I think you're going to end up dead tomorrow. Whoa. No, wait! That was only joking! It's not like that! I'm in! I'll see this to the end! So what are we going to do? Coyle is still willing to accept the job, despite what he already knows. Isn't it obvious? He'll become partners with us as long as we pay him. His demands are exorbitant, but we need to have someone as skilled as Coyle on our side. Good point. Pay him. It doesn't matter how much. Exactly. We'll just have to pay him. Alright, we'll contract Coyle. Anyone have any objections? No, no objections. objections. Elle, are you listening? Oh, I'm so disappointed. I thought this would be a challenge. Security level here is a joke. They've left it all to a single contractor. There weren't even any wiretap detectors. It's been about a week since I first snuck into the place. It looks like things have been moving pretty smoothly since then, huh? We've almost got them. 
So one of these people is Kira. Well then, now that everyone's here, let's commence our regular meeting. But if there's supposed to be eight, why are there only seven? Well then, let's begin tonight's meeting. There's supposed to be eight of them, but only seven are present. That must mean that they probably killed one of their members. Hmm. In order to further the growth of the Yotsuba group and best serve its financial interests, who should we kill next? Uh, you see? It's just like I told you last week! This is not good. This rage. But before we get to that, there are several topics that we need to discuss. First, there is the issue of Hattori's death. That was unavoidable. To be honest, in a certain sense, I'm relieved that Hattori is dead. Kira has demonstrated that we must be committed to these meetings. We now know what will happen if we try to leave. I think we all understand what Hattori's death means for the rest of us. Let's not take it lightly. Now, moving on. Our next topic is Arado Coyle's report. <sighs> One of their members just died, and that's all they're going to say. So did we really pay five million dollars for this report? I mean, come on, look at this. He hasn't found out anything important about L, like his name or his face. Is this Coil guy seriously going to be of any use to us? Hold on a second. There is something very interesting in the last part of this report. Coyle's warning us that we can't afford to take L's existence too lightly. In particular, it says, the concentration of killings that are beneficial to Yotsubo will likely be noticed by L if they continue on Fridays and Saturdays. I think we should focus on ELF insurance. If they expand into the Japanese market, Yotsuba and many other companies will lose valuable clients to them. Agreed. All right. Any objections to killing these people from ELF with accidental deaths? No, no objections. objections. Oh, is this for real? How can they do this so easily? Another potential candidate is Santoro Sentai, member of the Kubisawa group. He's been protesting Yotsuba's resort development plans. Zenzai is known to have high blood pressure, so we could designate a time for him to suffer a stroke, resulting in natural death. Any objections? No, no objections. objections. Kira? Deaths by accident? By disease? Designated times of death? It's all just as we suspected. We were right. No, unfortunately, we can only be completely sure after those people they've named are dead. <sighs> we will continue to monitor these meetings and take note of what they say, how they act, and most importantly, whether the people they choose actually die. If we can confirm the connection between their plans and the deaths, then we'll definitely be able to catch Kira. I I thought I, oh. <laughs> what is it? There's no need to yell in unison. I can't carry on knowing these people will die. That's just immoral. Right. Here it comes. I know you're planning <laughs> to catch Kira by letting these guys actually carry out these murders, but we can't let that happen. That's right. It's obvious that these seven men are behind the killings. With Matsuda's testimony and this footage we've recorded, we have all the evidence. You're making this difficult. If we were to take action now, everything we've done will go to waste. So what do you say we take care of the ELF in three weeks, and as for Zenzai, we'll ask Kira to kill him this weekend? No objections. If that's what they're going to do, then there's not much time left. Right, we already know the phone numbers of these board members, don't we? Yeah. I don't care who we call. I need to reach one of these men and have them stop these murders. Please, hold on. That will cause suspicion. It would mean the investigation caught up to them three days after they were contacted by Ivor. Also, it would make it far more unlikely that we would be able to discover who the real Kia might be. We can't afford such a huge setback seeing how far we've come. In order to catch Kira, we are going to need some solid proof. Yes, you do. I've always thought so. Oh, I did! Okay, bring it up! Once is enough! Please hold for his face. <laughs> Anyway, let's focus on catching the kid that's in front of us right now. That day you feet, have bro. Cuffs on, you shouldn't have any complaints. I suppose so. We only have a month, so there's no time to get distracted. 
<sighs> Ryuzaki. He's too a mess. We have plenty of footage from this meeting. Can we use that as evidence against those seven men and prevent that the murders so of other blood criminals? That man's so blunt about it, Zola. Yeah, no, bro. Unfortunately, <laughs> but why? At the moment, we're not certain if Kira is among those seven men. If all they have is a tenuous connection with him, then Kira well, will show them as soon as they're arrested. For more the sugar. They have to yeah, be absolutely bro. sure oh. that Kira is among them, so there's no point in detaining them now. The day he stops taking the sugars, that's the day he'll die, bro. It's quite <laughs> difficult to determine who the Look his eyes, bro. Mm, I believe it's still... <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. At the same time, we can't say that it's definitely not among Yo. us. That means there's a chance Cold the killings will bro. stop if we take What's this opportunity yeah, to bro. arrest them. I think Dad's right. There is a chance. We have to act on it. Excuse me, but I think from now on I should go after Kira by myself. Uh, you can use these headquarters Three. as you wish. I'll Four. also be here, but we will be working independently. You can conduct your investigation under your own direction. That's fine. She can keep so. I will be carrying on my own investigation. We'll only get into arguments if we don't split up and act separately at this point. This is... Are you saying you're going to figure out who Kira is by any means necessary? Yes. This case will never be solved unless we capture Kira himself. Don't get me wrong, I wouldn't say that preventing the deaths is pointless. But if we don't uncover the entire truth once and for all, Kira will only appear again and the number of victims will continue to increase. That's why I believe it's more important to find out who Kira really is. As I've been saying, I'm opposed to arresting those seven men. If you want to do so, then you will have to take responsibility for it. I will pursue Kira on my own. We only have one month. I wonder who will succeed. Where is that? Where are you going? To Amani's room. Sorry, I know you're on your father's side and all this, but I cannot move these handcuffs. I'm afraid you're going to have to come along with me. Which is it? We can't get out! I would never dream about living in a world without light. Yes, that would be dark. Shut it out! You're <laughs> crazy! We're running out of time, and I'm starting to get desperate. Oh, what days. As for Misa Amani, I've turned to her because I know her bravery and love for you is boundless. Do you really mean it? Oh no, I think I've totally misunderstood you all this time. I even called you a pervert. But you actually do understand how I feel, don't you? Yes. Misa is indisputably the most perfect and worthy woman for life. Yay! You're such a sweetie. Thank you, Ryuzaki. I could actually fall for you. Let's not go that far. But you could maybe be a friend of mine. Would that be okay? Yes. So now I've gained yet another friend. Yeah, of course. Any friend of Light's is a friend of mine as well. <laughs> Let's all be friends together. Yay. This is so if it weird. Goes, I would never think of betraying any of my friends. With our powers combined, we'll arrest Kira. Unfortunately, huh? Light's taking a different investigative approach from us and will be working with his father and the others. <laughs> I'm afraid it will just be you and I. Huh? What's up with that? Come on, Elle. Now you're just playing dirty. You're leaving me with no other choice but to join your mill. No, that's quite all right. What are you talking about? <clears throat> of course he'll be joining us. That's not it either. I've been opposed to this investigation since the beginning. It's too dangerous for her. Oh, Light. You're so sweet. Thank you for worrying about me. But please let me do this. I want to be useful to you somehow. If I can be useful, then maybe you'll love me even more. And besides, I would gladly die if it were for you, Light. <laughs> Figuring out the logistics of arresting seven people is going to be challenging. I don't suppose you two have any ideas. Mogi, Matsuda. Oh. <coughs> uh, I'll just say it's just been a very interesting chain of events. Obviously, with now the focus on the, this company having somewhat involved with Kira. Uh, the four nineteen, in, like, like mainly focusing on that detective who really isn't much of a detective. God knows how he's made it onto the squad, but I like how he went into his like detective mode, and he's just like super whack. <laughs> Even at the beginning, there was like disrespected man. I was like, raw, this is actually kind of mad. The whole episode was on him. The episode wasn't bad, I don't think anyway, but like shedding light on him, I was like, raw. I don't know how this guy's got this far. I, 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 don't, I don't think I don't think the episode is bad. No, the episode I, I just, bad. It's just the way they've they've stumbled onto this 
particular situation mm. through his reckless ways, that's yeah. what makes it good about it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because just them giving us a recap of every time he's been told off or not taken serious, <laughs> which me personally, I completely like did not like, do you know what I'm saying? I didn't pick it up. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, but just going back and say, raw. Yeah, you're like you're the younger of the team, innit? Like mm. always doing nonsense. So, yeah, and then you feel some type of way, and you try to show out, and now we're here. Yeah, I thought I thought I thought they they finessed they finessed yeah. that the way they went on about innit? Which mm. now, like, sets up for what's to come. That's it. Yeah. Like without the actual uh, death gods being around, mm. do you know what I mean? So it's it's definitely taken uh, a different route. So yeah, I thought that was like super interesting. And like you said, yeah, how his incompetence, so to speak, then led them into what's going on now, which is kind of helping them in such a situation. So that was kind of cool. And then just episode 20, again, Light or Ryuk, what is that? Not Ryuk. L. L and um, Light. Just going at it. Like, these two, is, I, in fact, I like it as well that we're not so much in the minds of those two because we've got a lot of, like, insight of how they really think and even outside, they, they're still doing it, which is, always mad but the way they're now doing insight to other people that we haven't really seen before mm -hmm. like the board member we've seen him how he's thinking that kind of stuff I thought that was really interesting so yeah I thought it was decent episodes yeah I thought two calm episodes man but like I am missing the Sher the Sherigamis and that fam I definitely do miss that element of it just having them around um, I kind of want L and Light to just know that's just to know man's Kira fam. Like man knows man's Kira, like like knows man I mean L knows man's Kira fam. Mm. But I just want them to be like, look, I'm Kira, bro. And then them just to move past it. Cause like <laughs> it's lot bro, this is like, like okay, it's like it's good what's happening, yeah. <clears throat> but I still also feel like this is like a very anime thing to continually drag this right. out. Yeah. Like, bro, like I feel like at this point it'd be better that he knew and that them lot were fighting more regularly. Mm, Instead okay. of, oh, if you accuse me, like it, it doesn't even make sense. Like, why is L punching man? I mean, like punching man. <laughs> it's frustrating, isn't it? Yeah, like, Fuck, right, bro, he's telling the you, truth, bro. but you know he's telling the truth. <laughs> but that's what I'm but, saying. If, if, if it was out in the open, it'd be even better. Do you know what I'm saying? Like between them two, but then, and not between anybody else. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? Like and be like, yeah, we're stuck together. Like so, you can't. Like I want light to get something on him. So it's like, oh, you can't out me. I can't out you. Mm. Like him so knowing. So he's just gonna keep playing this game. Yeah. So if he knows who L is, yeah, mm. and he's like, bro, right. if you, if you, if you turn me in, I'm gonna get you. I know who you are, bro. Mm. Like if he, if, if it was like that, mm. where it's fifty fifty, the dynamics the same, and we keep rolling. But it's interesting that obviously we've got this organization rolling, and now we're moving through there. But, bro. Yeah. I also thought it was sick that obviously L's got multiple More identities, mm. but it's like when they said, oh, this person knows the identity of life, I already knew it was L mm. as the other person because that's the kind of stuff that he would, like, he's already done that twice to us already, like, mm. so it made sense, but it's interesting to see how it's all going to play out. And I think for me, L um, Light's girlfriend is maybe my most interesting character at this point because, like, she's all over the gaff, bro. <laughs> like, like, it, like, she's in love with man madly and will do anything for man, but that means that she can easily be manipulated and stuff like that. So I just want to see how that all plays out. And Light needs to start tapping into that relationship, bruv. I've said it since the beginning, mm, fam. Yeah, he yeah. needs to tap into her, bruv, because she'll do anything for... Like, bruv, if he didn't mishandle this in the beginning... He could have... Yeah, 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 bruv, yeah. he could have been out of this situation by now, fam. Yeah, they're, they're, definitely, they're definitely doing a good job with her character, like, especially when she, she comes out as, like bubbly, naive kind of thing, but she's got a pattern, like, the way she moves, do you know what I mean? Like, her life pattern. Yeah, she's 30, do you know what I mean? Which is, like, it's very refreshing now like, when it comes to anime, especially over here watching Sakura and Lady Tsunade, innit? Like, it's just good to see some female characters actually doing something <laughs> in positive, positive with life. life. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but, yeah, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just ready to see where they're going on from here. Yeah, <sighs> it's interesting. I just want to see more beef with these these two. Man, just <laughs> these two just keep punching each other up, you know. But yeah, you know what? Man. Yeah, you know what? From what you said, yeah, it would be sick if if like we just went. Yeah, man. I'm Kira, fam. Fam, yo, like that's sick. That, that would be, be so sick, cause like, cause obviously they already had. We've already gone past 
the eternal mind, mind game. game. Exactly. So now that's the, the next, next level. level is be, not you know, yeah, and like, there's nothing you're gonna do. Exactly. <laughs> We're in this. Like, bro. We're just gonna keep playing this chess game Fun. until mm. someone out someone. Yeah, bro. And or, that will then level the levels that have to be mad. Bruv. For mad. For me, it's like there's like Lai and L are both the main characters, bro. None of these men can win. Mm. Like they both gotta die together, bro, or something, fam. Like so. Yeah. Let's just put all our cards on the table and play this game, fam. Smart. Yeah. I, I wonder. I wonder how long they're gonna keep this these episodes without the the shirigamis, because then now it's just like it's just so human, human, and no gods. And then if we get to a place where it's so high up there, and then the gods come in again, mm. that might be a whole different kind of. Madness we're looking forward to. But look, ladies and gentlemen, do jump in the comment section below. Let us know your thoughts on what we're saying. Are we in the right track? Are these theories leading somewhere? But we'll see you next time. I'm Raven the GS. Sorry, Mr. Blitz Tech. J1 for the Cybernoids. What happened? Nothing happened. Nothing except for the war. Too many people died in this land. All that pain forced me to grow up. What does that mean? That even innocent, foolish children will grow up in the face of pain.